Okay, Tom here. We're gonna uh, do a little Zoom uh, session for you here on some Thanksgiving sides. Uh, a lot of people bring the same things every year, so I want to give you a little uh, kind of a lesson on some different things that you can maybe bring, you know, for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Our first one is uh, misunderstood vegetable cauliflower, and cauliflower comes in different colors. We have here we have purple cauliflower, we have orange, we have white. It also comes in green. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a different uh, kind of a medley mix of cauliflower and we're going to saute those with, with a little bit of shallots and pickled uh, uh, golden raisins and, and some pine nuts. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by steaming up. So if you're at home, what you're going to do is you're going to take the raw cauliflower, you're going to cut it into smaller pieces like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and put it in some boiling water. And you want to separate the purple because the purple will leak some color. And the purple will turn the other things, uh, it, will, it will color the other. Uh, in the water, we're going to bring that to a boil. While we're doing that, we're going to take a pan with a little bit of oil. We're going to saute down some shallots that I have uh, julienne here. Shallots like a kind of a cross between onion and garlic. Actually going to cook in real time here, which is kind of interesting because you'll see how quickly this comes together. What I have here is I have some golden raisins that I've pickled in a solution of a little bit of water, sugar, and uh, white wine vinegar. And maybe they were poached for about three minutes and then cool down. And I have some pine nuts that I've roasted in the oven. I just got a little bit of color on it. You can see the color there. Right in. And we're gonna season with a little fresh thyme. I have some fresh thyme that we uh, cut here.
you hear in less than, you know, six, seven minutes, we have this beautiful cauliflower dish. It screams autumn to me, you know, cauliflower is uh, in season now. A nice little sauce underneath, maybe the butter, and some of that pickling juice will come out of those raisins and you'll get a taste of that in there. Hey Tom here again, uh, doing Thanksgiving sides. So what we decided to do today was um, carrots, but they're different. Uh, most people haven't seen these. This is a yellow carrot, uh, a little bit of green on the outside, beautiful vegetable. Carrots also come in purple, believe it or not, uh, and they exude a little bit of color. Uh, and then the ubiquitous uh, orange carrot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of these different carrots and we're gonna make them in a style that they call Vichy in France. It's uh, an area of France where they, they use a little bit of butter and sugar. It's simple. My grandmother used to make these all the time and they were great. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quick and I promise you it'll be the best carrots you ever have. So we're going to do this. We're going to take carrot, cut the end off, cut them I should note that these carrots have been steamed before. You can do these from raw, it just takes a little longer. So for the sake of the uh, video, we steam them ahead of time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a shallot. It's a beautiful shallot. Turn off the heat and we're going to steam those carrots. Now, if you're doing it from scratch, it'll probably take you about 15 minutes, 18 minutes, something like that. Um, and then you can check the salt content and the sugar content when you're done. But these carrots will steam up nice and soft and be beautiful. And the great part about carrots is they don't lose their color. So if you have a Thanksgiving table, you can put them out there. And sometimes green vegetables will go like army green, it'll look like a Jeep. Um, but these will just keep that bright, beautiful color of the whole time of the table. This is the boring part. Okay, so the batter should be just about ready. I'm gonna take it off. What you can see is a mix of colors and also some of that, the, the purple carrot is bled into the butter. So you have kind of a nice purplish sort of sauce for it. Some, some chopped chives to give it a nice little onion flavor and you have this beautiful melange of color and uh, vegetable and it's great for the Thanksgiving thing. We're going to do uh, the classic cream spinach. Uh, my grandmother used to make this again for Thanksgiving. She used to spend every Thanksgiving in her house. It's great. Um, 
And a lot of times what people will do, they'll make a bechamel sauce for cream spinach, cheese milk, uh, thicken with flour and butter. And I'm going to show you how to do this without any of that. Um, because if you're not cooking for a huge part, uh, a party, uh, you can just take cream, it'll thicken itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a shallot and we're going to dice it down. You don't need much. spinach that's been already boiled down and chopped. Um, this is where I would suggest that you could use frozen chopped spinach or regular frozen leaf spinach and chop it up. Um, there's no sin there. Now you don't want the shallot to brown. You want to keep it like translucent. reduces, uh, it'll evaporate some of the liquid and it'll thicken on its own. And there you have cream spinach. You notice it's not swimming in cream. You don't want to, to put too much cream in there. 
keeps a nice little balance between the cream and the spinach itself.